All right, so in this problem, we're going to be looking at getting the p-value when our test stat is 2.47 and our alternative hypothesis is the mean is greater than two. The reason why we look at the alternative hypothesis here is because this hypothesis tells us what kind of test we're conducting, and that becomes very important when trying to find the p-value. So in order to calculate the p-value in this situation, we draw a bell curve. And we make sure that bell curve is basically blank, except for the fact that we have a z-axis at the bottom, right? With a zero in the center. All right, so now that we have the z-axis labeled, we're going to look at this test stat and put it on the curve where it belongs. Since it's positive, it's going to be on the right-hand side of the curve, so we'll put it about here, 2.47. So I'll draw a line on the curve where that's located. Now, in order to determine the p-value, we need to think about what area we need to find, and that area is gonna be based off of the alternative hypothesis. So again, because this guy here has a greater than symbol, that's like an arrow actually pointing to the right, right? You see the symbol looks like the tip of an arrow and that arrow would be pointing to the right, which means that we're looking for this area to the right of the test stat. Basically, when you have a right-tailed test, the p-value is the area to the right of the test stat. If you had a left-tailed test, it'd be the area to the left of the test stat. And if you had a two-tailed test, you'd find this tail area that we have shaded here and you would double it for the two tails. Here, it's just a one-tailed test, it's a right-tailed test, so we find this area in red that we have that's to the right of the test stat. All right, then all we have to do is look that up on our Z chart. All right, so let's find the 2.4 in the leftmost column first. And then to find 2.47, we just move over. The first position is 2.40, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's the seventh position. So it's 0 0.4932. 0 0.4932 then is the number in the 2.47 position. Don't forget when you're looking at this table though, what that's giving us is the area from the z-score we're looking at, right, to the center of zero. So it's this area that we're getting. We're not getting the tail area that we want. We're getting the area from here to zero. So that means what we found is this number, 0.4932. Now that's not the area we want, so in order to figure out the area we want, we have to recognize that the whole half of the curve here, 50% of the curve, has 50% of the area. So we know that this has 0 0.5000 total area. If the part in white is 0.4932, if we take that away from 50%, we should be left with the part that's shaded in red. So if we subtract off that 0.4932 area, which is not the area we want, we're left over with the area we do want, which ends up being, of course, 0, 0068. All right, so that means that this area is 0 0.0068. That is our p-value. So the conclusion then for this problem is that we should reject the null hypothesis since the p-value is less than alpha. We reject HO.